21st century is a time of citizens playing an active role in the society, especially when it comes to media. It is priceless to have the power to decide when and about what we would like to inform other people. This is why it is important that citizen media will engage people and stay on a high level of quality. Yet, to exist and keep the standards, you need to get some resources. There are different possibilities. Marketing, sponsoring and fundraising. Marketing is the act of connecting customers to products. It focuses on the needs of the buyer and the needs to satisfy the customer through the product. Marketing focuses on advertisements. Sponsoring is the act of supporting a person, organization or activity by giving money, encouragement or other kind of help. Sponsors are usually private companies, businesses or business owners, investors, banks, as well as family or friends. Fundraising is the act of collecting or producing money for a particular purpose, especially charity. Sources of fundraising are foundations, government and EU grants. Wenn man eine Gruppe wie unsere Seniorama if you want to establish a group like ours, Seniorama, you will need money. Either the members bring money with them, or you try to get it from public funds. Our task, or better to say, my task, was to request money from the Sievertes Foundation and verify it while collecting receipts, for example, for travel or material costs. For this reason, you also need to prepare a report with a proof of the use. According to the rules of the Sivedes Foundation, you need to repeat this procedure once per year. You have many different kind of opportunities as well. For example, um, you can organize a fundraising event, for example a concert, and then the entrance fee is your is a financial contribution for your next project, your next idea. You can also organize a so-called crowdfunding campaign, which uh, happens online. On, there are many uh, different uh, crowdfunding uh, websites and platforms that you can use for your project idea. Uh, also, you can connect with, uh, with local organizations such as citizen centers or other organizations who might provide you with some space to implement your ideas and your actions. Um, on the other hand, um, you can also reach out for um, businesses, um, bigger foundations and um, different kind of uh, stakeholder groups to, to find some kind of donation, to find some kind of support for your projects. No matter which way of getting the funds you choose, you should always remember about some rules to follow. One. Identify your project. What will be the topic of your magazine? Focus on things you know well and love doing. Creating a magazine based on your passions will be more engaging, relevant and useful to your readers or viewers. 2. Reach out to people who can help you. You need to interact with a broad range of people who can help to make your magazine successful. Influential people in your market are very important to know and engage with. 3. Start early. Prepare a two- to three-year plan with various ways of getting the funds each year. 4. Always be prepared. You will probably go through a lot of meetings where you will be asked to talk about your magazine. Avoid stumbling or getting flustered. Otherwise, you might lose some valuable opportunities. So, what should you pay special attention to? The goals you have for your business, the people you are about to go in a meeting with, always have a set of questions prepared in advance, try to make a great first impression, practice until you master it. 5. Start networking. Use every possible networking site in order to promote your magazine. Find possible sources of funds, but also learn how other magazines work. Go on LinkedIn and start getting in touch with some of the world's most successful professionals. 6. Look for angel investors. Angel investors are influential, wealthy individuals willing to fund startups in exchange for some benefits 
such as owner's equity. Apart from the fact they will give you money you need, they are also an amazing source of contacts and they can provide you with advice when needed. 7. Seed funding firms. Commonly known as incubators, those companies will only invest small amounts of money in the early stages of a business. Incubators will also provide the necessary technical assistance and give advice on how to proceed next as the business develops. 8. Quality matters. Be sure that you know the needs of the local community. The recipients of your magazine will definitely come back if the quality of your magazine is high and it suits their needs. Professionally prepared magazine with a big group of readers might result in getting the attention of media and the advertisers. 9. Send your newsletter. Send a newsletter to your supporters. Remember to always include an update on financial needs and pre-addressed envelope for return donation. 10. No limits. Never limit yourself with just one source of funding your project, no matter how good, reliable, easy to work with it might look like. If we're talking about funding opportunities, I think it's worth it to contact a more experienced organization. They can suggest you some kind of um, local, regional, national uh, funding opportunities. Uh, you can turn to your city, you can also turn to the different departments of, um, of a ministry dealing with your certain topic. So, um, on the other hand, there are many other kind of organizations that you can turn to, uh, different kind of foundations dealing in your topic and in your field of, of interest. Um, on the other hand, uh, you can also reach out for international level, for example, thanks to the Erasmus Plus program. Uh, you can gather um, partners from all over Europe and you can implement your ideas on a bigger scale. So I think that's really worth it. Uh, for applying for such kind of projects, though you might need a more experienced person, um, but either way, um, you should experience uh, these kind of projects on a European level because your organization can benefit uh, from it and also, from, uh, and also your target group could learn a lot from these kind of projects. Acquiring the funds you need for your magazine is definitely not an easy thing to do. However, if you follow these rules, your whole experience will be much easier. You will put in a lot of effort, but you're not on an unknown territory. So, make the best out of it, stop postponing and get started right away.